we present a control method that enables individuals to walk and cross obstacles with a powered knee and ankle prosthesis. Negotiating obstacles found in everyday life is challenging with a conventional prosthesis. When approaching an obstacle, the prosthetic knee does not bend. As a consequence, the prosthetic foot is not able to clear the obstacle. Due to this limitation, the user needs to go around the obstacle or perform unnatural movements like swinging their legs sideways and outward. This motion is destabilizing and not always possible in tight environments or crowded areas. When we encounter an obstacle, our gait pattern changes. We slow down and increase our hip and knee range of motion to increase the foot clearance. By using sensors, motors, and controls, power prostheses can imitate the physiological gait pattern. During walking, our controller captures the changes in the movements of the biological hip using the sensors in the prosthesis. Based on this information, the controller adjusts the motion of the prosthetic knee using AI to imitate the physiological gait pattern. When using this controller, the knee prosthesis movements change continuously according to the biological hip movements. As a result, users can change the foot clearance at every step. By voluntarily changing foot clearance, users can seamlessly walk and cross obstacles of different sizes. In our test, three subjects successfully crossed obstacles greater than 20 centimeters. The prosthesis does not detect the obstacle nor use pre-planned movements. The controller optimizes the prosthesis trajectory online based on the hip movements of the user. This enables the user to generate different levels of foot clearance while walking at different speeds and crossing over obstacles of different sizes with just a single controller. Because the power prosthesis continuously adapts to the physiological hip movements, changing the foot clearance is intuitive for the user. Navigating obstacles is essential to ambulation in real life. With this new controller, we're a step closer to clinically viable robotic prostheses. This work was partially funded by the National Science Foundation, the Eunice Kennedy Shriver National Institute of Child Health and Human Development at the National Institutes of Health, and the College of Engineering at the University of Utah.